<laughs> Ball sack. <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gents? Rick right here for T3G along with Pull Throttle. And uh, we're going to be talking about the uh, this week's, well, this week's and a half, I guess, of, uh, yeah. of our TV shows. And um, I figure we'll start start farthest back, so we'll talk about Constantine first. I think that's the last one you watched. Right? Yeah, I just finished it. I just literally finished it. I liked it. I liked it a lot more than I liked any of the other episodes. Here's my thing. Um, I enjoy everything about the show when it comes down to, like, what it's about. Um, what the visuals are like, uh, even the story that they're trying to develop. I care zero for the main actor. I like I like his I like his uh, uh, partner, say his, his sidekick, Jazz. the guy that keeps coming back. Like I, I like that guy. I okay. just enjoy. I even enjoy the guy that's doing it, even though he hasn't had a lot of dialogue. I still enjoy it. Sure. It's 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 just something about him. I think. Those lines that he's trying to, you know, like those snappy, like funny lines that he's trying to push out, they're just not working, and it's not. Uh, I don't know. For me, I don't get a chuckle or nothing out of it. Like I, I think this goes back to the, like the British dry wit. Like that's the thing yeah, about. Yeah, no, I like, understand that's how that, it is but, for me for any other. But I've watched British characters. Sure, no, and I've watched other items where it is British dry humor, and and I I chuckle. I at least get a chuckle out of sure. it. Sure. But him, I think it's just. I don't know. Maybe it's just his delivery. Not hating on the actor. At I, all. Yeah, I don't know if that's intentional. I don't know if that's just how he's trying to do the character. Um, I, I, I'll be honest. I haven't read a lot of Constantine I, or Hellblazer he, or anything. So I, the only thing I can go off of is is the movie, as we spoke of before. Well, here's my. But like in the movie, it's it's Keanu Reeves. So like he's kind of see, but I enjoyed aloof. It. Yeah, <laughs> and I enjoyed it though. I enjoyed Keanu Reeves. We spoke about that before, but. I think the problem with the show is because a lot of shows they're getting away with doing the snappiness and 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 getting those chuckles out of people, and, sure. you know that little that little comedy out of it. And I think a lot of shows are trying that because they see that it works for other people. So sure. they're like, oh, we'll put that in too. We'll get we'll get people to chuckle. And I think this is the wrong way of doing it. I, I like that there's trying to be a comedic aspect to it, but uh, you know a little a little humor in it. But it's just. The man that's delivering it, it's not working. It's either he's not working or whoever's writing it is just not writing it at the right time. You know what I'm saying? Like he's not putting the joke in when it should go in. Sure, deal. sure. I think maybe that's what's going on with me. Um, because, I mean, I've, I've, you know, for instance, Sherlock has a lot of snappy, dry humor. This is true. And this is true. And that's chuckle, super rich, too. And yeah, I so. chuckle every time I watch that show. And I think that has to do with. One, the writing, obviously, you can tell. Well, that of that course, show the writing on that show is amazing. Yeah, and, and also Benedict, uh, he's a great actor, and I think he just delivers those a lot better. And fair enough, he's fair not enough. really a comedic actor, that's what's funny, but yet he delivers it pretty good. So, this is true. Uh, so, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm having, honestly, when I was watching this show, especially this episode, this last episode, I kind of didn't care for it. Really, well, yeah. I, it's funny because I liked it so much more than the previous episode. Yeah, it was. I, it was like m there was more action. I feel it was. There was just like a lot more that happened. You got a lot more answers. Right. Uh, you know, we, we talked about Zed. We now kind of know what Zed is about. A little. Um, a little. Yeah, yeah a little, just a little got bit. A little background on Zed. And right? uh, we, you know, we got a little bit of everything, and I really liked it. And yeah. I liked um, Manny kind of having his little, just like shows up like. You didn't even ask for it, and like that kind of puts Constantine's, you know, mentality into into play. Is like, well, this guy is he's in the moment. He right. is he is just trying to get through the next five minutes. Not even talking about tomorrow or anything like that. You right. know, he's just trying to get through the next five minutes. So he was like, well, guess I'm out. Boom, demon healed. Like that was that was his move because that's all he could think of at the time. He doesn't. I mean, when Manny said like, you didn't even ask for my help. It's just his care. I think it's his nature. Right. He wouldn't ask for help. I mean, his whole nature, everything that we've seen so far in the show is self-sacrifice. Like, he's willing He's willing to go wherever he needs to go. Right. He's just, he knows that he's got stuff to do. I mean, they even covered that in the show. Yeah. Where he talked about, you know, he asked him, like, you know, are you, are, you know, are you so afraid of death? He's like, I'm not afraid of death. He's like, I know, I know what's coming for me. I know what I've earned. He's like, I've just got other stuff to do. I've got more things to do. Sure, absolutely. And I agree with that. Uh, and that's one again. That's one of those lines that was pointed out in the show. But I almost feel like he delivered it incorrectly. 
Uh, I don't know why. It just that particular scene. I, you know, it just he, wasn't here's the delivered thing. He, properly. He, he looks the part. He looks the part. Even in the most recent, you know, going back as far as I've ever seen Constantine uh, portrayed in comics, and he in the most recent portrayals of him in comics, he looks the part. He is top to bottom. The only thing he's not is a little more square jawed. His head is a little bit rounder right. than he's been portrayed as. But otherwise, like he's the guy. Right. And it's just one of those things that's hard to keep track of but it's funny i just read a um kind of a mini series that featured him for like five minutes um and i couldn't think of it in any other way but him portraying it and it's funny because the dialogue the way it's written the way he talks is the same as the show right so it's one of those things that i don't know if he's doing it on purpose i don't know if you know they're making him to be kind of I mean, and the other the other thing about it, if if you look at it, it could be it could be on purpose by the writers. They sure, could be sure, writing absolutely. it that way to kind of give him this like, I'm in this crazy, insane situation, so I'm just gonna try to like hold on to these bits of sanity by yeah, making yeah, jokes. Yeah, absolutely. And I definitely understand. Like, I couldn't possibly imagine myself in that situation, like yeah. deep, like being possessed, let alone like dealing with demons and right. like that all day all day long. I just couldn't. I, I can't fathom it. Right. So. Like, for some reason, like, I can think of myself dealing with zombies, right. but then it's, like, demons. Like, that's just, like, a whole other ball game that I just don't know enough about. Well, that's, that's, and like I said, I don't mind, I, honestly, any show that tosses in the comedic aspect to it, you know, like the snappy lines and stuff like that, so far I haven't had any real big issues with. But then when I, uh, I don't know, with this show, when I watch it, it's like, it just doesn't hit right. And, right. and once again, I I don't mind if the writers are doing, putting it in, but something's not happening to the You're, point you're looking for a payoff. Yeah, right? like, something, I'm, I'm looking something, like, you if you're going to do it, like, for instance, I know this is off topic, but recently, like I said, I started watching Castle Almond Season 3. Every episode, he does something, which is throughout every episode, he, like, it never stops, but you laugh. You laugh every time. It's not just a chuckle. You laugh. Right. And, but it's it's one of those, like, what he says or how he does something with his body. And, and, and you still, you you get that comedy out of it. You really get, like, you're sure. like, that was delivered properly. I want to laugh at that. But with this, it's like, they're trying. And honestly, I have nothing against the actor. I haven't seen him in anything else. So I can't judge his acting by just watching him do Constantine. Right. But... I don't know. I don't know. Something about it. But overall, yeah, the sh the episode was cool. Uh, you know, the the choice he went with on how to prevent himself from dying was a, a, a hell of a choice. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, when you do something like that, especially you're John Constantine, you've been through situations, you've been through hell and back, and... and literally. Literally. <laughs> and... Um, you know, you made the choice to put this demon inside you, this terrible demon, to heal yourself. But then, and this is where it kind of comes to either delivery or the writing. But then in the middle of the episode, you're like, oh man, maybe I made a mistake. Well, yes, you you know what you did. You knew when you were doing it what you did. Uh, and, and, well, and it's, it's I think like, well, I think that that played to that the, the thing that they've talked about several times on the show. A lot of characters have pointed it out. Is he? You know, he always thinks that he knows what's going on and what to do. Right. So, th th I think that played to that idea of, like, you know, in that moment, he thought that was the right move to do. Right. And then, like, later, it was just that kind of, like, moment of human, you know, consciousness in John Constantine saying, like, I think I made it messed up. Right. And it's like, no, he never says that. Like, he would never say that normally. But in this situation, he's... At this point, where he, he's he's near enough that he's admitting fault, and that's just not happened before. And I accept that. That's fine. I mean, I'll even accept that. But there's so many things in this episode that kind of like, uh, what's the word? Um, uh, irked me a little bit. Sure. Uh, just because, like, for instance, the angel coming down and says, "What have you done? Why'd you choose this?" It's like, well, I don't see God coming. It's like, well, you didn't ask. Well, every time he has asked, you said, we can't help you. You're on your own. This is true. This so is true. Like, that was, piece I'll of be writing. honest, as, as that was playing out, that was what I thought in my head. As soon as he said, well, you didn't even ask. Like, but you you would have said, I can't help you anyway. Right. Like, <laughs> so it's like, it's one of those things like. But it's funny because then Manny said, like, it's not that I can't help you, it's that I won't. 
Well, like, that, well, after like, after I thought, what I he thought it, I thought it was that you can't help. No, him. no, no. <laughs> he, I, I think during that scene, he said that because of what he just did. Mm. Uh, Hugh doesn't want to help him now. He's like, I can't help you now. I'm not gonna. This was your choice type of deal. Uh, but regardless, I mean, like he said, you could have asked for help. You didn't. Well, he's asked for help before, and you said all you can do is kind of point him towards the direction, but you can't do anything physically. Right. So right. it's almost like, it's kind of like contradicting itself, I guess would be the word I'm trying to use for for this, for this the writing part of it. Just because this is one of those things that I go into, it's like, if you're going to make a series and you're going to start writing about something, and we'll go actually into Gotham for this as well, it's almost like, go one direction, stop, you know, if you're gonna write something, remember what you wrote, because then, like, the next part, your 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 real viewers, the ones that really pay attention, are gonna notice that you made a mistake, sure. and it's gonna irk them, and then they're gonna start not liking certain aspect of the show. So, Actually. if it's the writing or the acting or whatever it is, and in this case for me, it was the writing, because even though I don't really feel the delivery for the joke part of the aspect it's some of those things where like oh why did i chose this okay well he's second guessing himself that's fine but then like the writing about oh the angel said he could have helped if he has but every other time he said we can't help you so right. it's, you know it's one of those things where now it's like and you know me at the mid-season i was i was ready for the next episode but for some reason just little bitty things I guess maybe my mind was going a little more with this episode than than the previous ones maybe I I learned to maybe with the previous episodes I shut down my mind a little bit and this one I took a little more seriously I don't know but then again I did watch Flash and Arrow before that so maybe I was expecting a lot more <laughs> so, I guess yeah that's, uh, that's a possibility but certainly. we'll go into that in a little bit but what did you I don't know your final thoughts about the episode I, I liked it um I really enjoyed, like I said, I really enjoyed it because it had a lot more action. I feel like there was a lot more going on mm -hmm. um, than the previous episodes right. overall. Right. But at the same time, I think the whole episode was just kind of like cleanup. Yeah. So like the la you know, the, the, the mid season finale was kind of like this guy's gotten shot. Like this is where we're at, and it wasn't so much a matter, you know, unlike Arrow, it wasn't so much a matter of like. This is the story of how we make him not dead. Right. It was now he's not dead, but now we have to deal with the consequences of him not being dead. Right. So like, if he had died, there would be no episode. Sure. Obviously, but but I mean, like, even if you know, even if he had died and they had gone a different route about sure, it, sure, absolutely, there would have been no episode. Right. They would have had to write a completely different episode. Yeah. So th him not dying is the entire episode. Right. Right. So you know, it wasn't helping someone else out. It was cleaning up his own mess. Yeah. Um, the only the only thing for me for this episode which is really keeping the series interesting for me is his sidekick. I really want to know why he doesn't die. Like he's I immortal. Would, but in, if we watch the preview for the next episode, he wants to sacrifice his life for his daughters. I don't know how that works if you can't die. Well, yeah, but he might. Um, I mean, it, depending if if it's magic based immortality, sure, absolutely. Then yeah, he could definitely sacrifice. I mean, that. clearly it's some kind of immortality, but I want to know what it is. What's providing him that? Sure, you know, sure. If it's a spell, or if it's like there's a story to that, and I'd like to know it. So I think that's what's keeping me more attracted than right now the story of Constantine. Uh, you know, I am interested. I think my only thing is 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 they haven't. They haven't presented um, the threat as much as they should have. I think what's yeah, it's this it's series. it's still very much uh, like in the season mid season like, finale. Okay, so like oh, so it's not so, supposed to be even around. Right, so it's La Brujeria. Yeah. Okay, right. but like, but then that what was, does that mean? Right, but then that was in they like they're they're big baddies and like they're great evil. I right. get it. What does that mean? Right, and like are they going to erase there, everything? And something that was there. Right, something that was there right there in the beginning of the episode, and he put that demon inside him, and and that thing just kind of disappeared. I don't find that likely, especially out of demons that are not supposed to exist. Is what I'm kind of getting at. To me, it's like if it's gonna be there in the beginning of the episode, and he almost dies, and then he kind of gets. So you're suggesting that because I feel like there should have been more background issues while them trying to figure out what how to fix him, I guess. Maybe maybe that would have kept my interest a little more. Sure, sure. Yeah, no, I, I definitely think that it could have, uh, 
it could have played out differently. Right. But I mean, I I still I like I said I still liked it a lot more than the previous episodes and it was a lot more action and I, I was a lot more into the episode. Sure. So. I'm I'm excited to see what's next. Yeah, absolutely, me too. But um, let's go ahead and go from there. Since we're talking about the writing and stuff, I want to talk about Gotham next. So let's let's let's. Oh Gotham. Gotham! Oh Gotham! So here's the thing. I was really <laughs> really excited for this episode because it looked like it would have been. Because you didn't like uh, the last one. No, I didn't like the last episode. And this episode with uh, what what was he supposed to be called? Uh, electric the electrocutioner. Um, Ah oh, man, what can I say? Um, I think it was a bit here, much. Here's here's I, I, here's, 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 I think here's it was a bit much. They're just like that was that was not kind even, of a stretch for this show. Here's here's the thing. I don't think it was a bit much. Here's where it, I was just thinking about this as I was uh, finishing up uh, Constantine. This goes into the writing aspect, okay? Mm -hmm. So the first half se half season, they focused a lot about Bruce Wayne's parents' death. Sure. Okay, that was entwined a lot with with the story, right? After the mid season finale, nothing. There was just nothing. There's two episodes of literally just Gordon in the arc. He's not even in it. Yeah, he's not even in it. And here's the thing: I didn't want Bruce Wayne in the first place to be sure. involved that much, yeah, to I be agree. honest, because this is Gotham before Batman. So I didn't really care for I Bruce agree. Wayne to be, be. But I feel like. Their issue was they started out this season really focusing in on that, and now these two episodes don't have their own really way. They they don't really have their own path. They don't without that in you know interlocking somehow. They really just don't have anything of their own to keep your attention. It was just episodes. It was just like oh here's something we can write as a story. And maybe it'll work, type of deal. Right. And and I feel like that's kind of where the problem is. So, so you just don't think that they th these two episodes fit in the season? I I don't not at all. Like it just it, the other episodes they had, even one even the ones that really didn't focus on the Wayne uh, murder. Mm -hmm. Um. They still how can I put this? They still somehow within the episode, you felt like that was still there. You know what I'm saying? Like, the sure. Wayne's murder was still there. In these two episodes, it was just literally nothing. And I think that's where their problem is, is they started the series having that part of the story. Mm -hmm. And now when they're trying to kind of go from that and have their own type of story, it's not working out for them. I think that's where the problem went. So, in my opinion, I think the reason... It's not working out so well is because we got Wayne for a while and now we don't have him and it's almost like that was it feels like to me that was a bigger focus for the first mid season and and it's kinda now taken away from what it really should have been the first time around, which was just Gotham and Jim and Gordon and, and, and not really the focus of Wayne where that's what the first half was. Was really it was a lot of focus on Wayne. Hit it him, was, I mean, especially because him. of how they ended the the, the middle, uh, the mid season. Right. Well, I guess mid season. I don't even really want to call it. Yeah, that. I don't even want to call but, it. That uh, well, especially the way they finished the winter episode was. I mean, he was the last thing. He was right. the last scene. Right. It was Bruce Wayne. So then to not have Bruce Wayne in the next two episodes at all. Right. Or anything about him, really. Yeah. Now, you can say loosely it's tied together because of the whole mob thing. But I don't really think it's that. Because I still there was no mention nothing. of that. There was, there was no... There, there really wasn't anything to tie that together. So I definitely see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, now, on the flip side of that, I like the fact that we lost the main character. I like the fact that Fish Mooney's dead. Well, Even though I really like Fish Mooney. Well, Fish is not dead yet. Fish is totally dead. No, and uh, if you watch the preview for the next one, she's getting tortured. So oh. she's not dead. Oh, well, he said, said he said keep them alive. Oh, he I'm, said, I missed that. Yeah, yeah. He one day when he kills, when he, he chokes the girl, he says I want them alive. And well, the, the other thing I, I really like, the other thing I really like is the fact that, and that was fucking, that was crazy. What the, the choke out? That was the choke out was good. Crazy. That was the, watching him really. That was, that's the because first time you saw because, Falcone dirty his hands. Yeah, yeah, and plus, plus, 
it, she did remind him of his mother, even uh -huh. if he didn't realize. So yeah, there was that. The there face. was that brutal. So kind of there really was that deep. real like deep. That like he's basically killing his mom, mm -hmm. and that was that was a good part of the episode. That really was. Uh, but the whole executioner thing, it was fun. But it's almost like it was a messy episode. You know, they really wanted the executioner thing, but they also really wanted the whole mob thing, and. It almost felt like... Well, here's the thing. They tied in the electrocutioner, right? And they said it was three years ago, right? Yeah. They said the, yeah. the thing... Yeah. They said something like three three years ago or something, or even more, maybe ten? No, it wasn't ten. It was it was three to five years ago. Maybe. No more than five. Maybe. So, I think it was, let's say, five years ago. So, you're going to tell me Maroney went from small-time bank robber... Right. ...to number two in years. Right. That's that's a hard thing to swallow for me. So like that's, that's kind of a, that's like, a kind that's of a continuity like thing. I do remember it saying ten. I don't think it was ten. I really don't Could think it was ten. Could have sworn he said you know ten years ago. But I don't know. We'll have to look that up. So, but, but I get what you're saying. If it was, in it just three as soon years, as they said it, makes sense. yeah. As soon, as soon as they said it, I was like, really? Like that's supposed to be Maroni? But I'm like, but Maroni's number two. Like right. he would have had to climb pretty fast. Right. And that's just really not heard of. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, it all depends. You know, from all my mob experience. Right, from all your mob. <laughs> I mean, but I've seen in other shows and stuff like that where, uh, you know, depending on the plan and how everything's executed, you can see fast oh, yeah, yeah, that's so. true. That is true. It, it just, it just that, kind of, that kind of bugged me when they said it that way. And it was one of those things that it wasn't necessary to combine it. So I feel the entire episode was brought together to have that moment where Fish Mooney's revealed right. and Falcone dirties his hands. Right. So then they had to, I feel like they started with that mm -hmm. and then they worked backwards. I will say this, I am extremely happy that they finally got Falcone to realize that Fish is really between yeah. him and yeah. that this was that, all, uh, like that was just dragging on I'm, too I'm long glad about that. season. I'm very, very happy that he, because I mean a guy that's supposed to run the mob mob world couldn't figure that part out. Oh, I can't see it. I can't see it. So the fact that it dragged on this long was annoying. Right. But I'm so happy that they finally. I I, I want to see where it goes from here. I still like the show. I just feel like these last two episodes really just kind of were tossing episodes. I I hope there's more. I hope there's more to the rest of the season, so that way it does not lose the attention of a lot of the audience. Because that's, sure. that's always a worry, you know? Like, we always joke about it every time we talk about Gotham, but it is Fox. So it, if, yeah. if they notice there's a loss in attention... I wonder, due I wonder to, if they have the uh, the numbers for that for this episode. But, I mean, if, you know, if there's some kind of... Any kind of notice by Fox that there's a, a, a shortage of, uh, you know... Viewage or whatever that, that they will cancel it. They, Fox has no problem doing that, and um, and hopefully, I mean, hopefully they do something new to pick up the the series because it really needs that pickup. Right. Um, I honestly, I didn't mind. I knew I was as soon as I watched the episode. I knew you were gonna say this, but the Riddler doing his riddles, I didn't mind it. I thought it was fun. I didn't uh, like the fact that they they over they just overdid that scene. There would have been nothing wrong with him saying it's a riddle. He said it like three times. I know. I which know. I understand was the point of that was to drive home the idea that this guy has some sort of personality disorder, right. some sort of uh, social anxiety even that he he just doesn't know how to deal with people. Sure. And they had that moment where that's where things turn dark, you know? Right. They had that moment where he's about to turn the corner and the girl says, he's such a weirdo. And then he, like, paused. Right. And you knew that was the moment right. where he's going to turn dark. Right. And it's, like, I liked that aspect of it, but, like, right before that, where he's like, but, but it's a riddle. But but it's a riddle. It's a riddle. Like, right. I, yeah, yeah, we get it. It, just, it was just, like, driving home... The, the same point and that was kind of pointless. I think I mean I think like you said I mean I, they were just trying to show that how you know that there there is a some kind January of 19th. issue. Six point five. I mean six point. Listen, that's a huge number. But like I said, I've seen those numbers for other. Well, that's, but remember that's that's what they said uh, was going to bring down uh, Agent Carter was six point five. Right. So <laughs> I mean, let's be serious. So, but um, 
you know, I, I personally don't mind the whole Riddler thing. I, I, I mean, that's who he is. That's it, it, it was the whole it was time, uh, it was it was kind of a note to me. It wasn't it wasn't one of those things that it didn't bother me this episode. It just it it bugged me for that moment in retrospect. Sure. During the episode, it kind of played out. I don't think that scene was necessary. Right. Um. So I, I mean, and I think that's I think that's where a lot of the problems I have with the show are is that they try to build too many characters at the same time. Right. Like Penguin. So you have the Penguin thing now. Maroni knows that he's he's working for 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 Falcon. Right. No no chance he bought his whole like right, plea. Right, right. Like, there's just no chance. So I think Penguin's going to kill Maroni. Okay. Which makes legitimate sense to me and how Penguin rises right. to power. But then, like, to also, it's like, okay, so we're working on, we're working on Penguin. Then we're working on Falcone, because Falcone has to come to this realization, right? right? We're also working on Jim. You know, Jim, Jim's got to kind of come back to the, the squad and all this stuff. And also that whole thing with the commissioner, I really like that, like, badass Jim Gordon for right, a second, right, where right, he was right. like, the next man who take, tries to take my badge away. I, I forget what he said. I forgot. It was just know. like, it was just a badass threat. He was like, the next man tries to take my badge away. I'm taking him down or something like or that. Something like that. And I was just like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, no, like, I mean... Cool, got it. <laughs> see, the whole thing... Here's the thing. I like the whole Falcone aspect. I love the... Actually, I love the whole Penguin aspect. I love it. I, I, I really like it because it. he's he's turned out to be much more powerful. Oh, he's so much, character. so much, so much fun. I, I just enjoy his character and the way that actor plays him. I mm -hmm. mean, I think he just does a great job. And I enjoy... Uh, well, supposedly DeVito said, like, that he was doing a good job. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. But uh, also, uh, Gordon. Gordon's a little... I, I love the actor for Gordon. I really do. I, I enjoy... I don't know a lot of their names because they're still very new to me. Mm -hmm. But um, Same here. But I enjoy, so far, all three of those actors. One, there was a Barbara scene in there where she goes sees her parents. I didn't care. That it, you, yeah, you I definitely about, You want care. to talk about scenes that were necessary? I definitely We talked care. about this last time. Barbara is one of those characters they have no idea what they're doing with. Mm -hmm. and like I, that, I had zero, zero if, if, to get. Now, if they did, instead of her going back to her... Instead of her going back to that cop uh, chick, uh, what's her name? Matoya? Montoya, yeah. Uh, instead of doing that and making her look like she's back on, you know, substance abuse or whatever, if she went straight from, hey, Gordon, I got to go, you know, think Clear about my head this, or whatever. And then she goes to her parents. I would expect that more yeah, than absolutely. her just going straight down, like, I'm going to start substance abuse And, and to me, that would have made more sense as well because, okay, so then you're scared. You're scared. You know, you, you were you were trying to put on this brave front because you were a rebel. Like right. you had a you had a you know you had a girl right. girl on girl relationship. Um, now you're you know you're with a guy who you're like I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be behind you. This goes down and you're like whoa, this is way too crazy. So then you run home. You run home. You know you that's that's kind of like that was the cycle I was expecting. Sure. You don't cheat and and become a substance abuse and, and then go home and then go home. I so, that was definitely so that because, that whole thing last episode yeah, was crazy. I would have cared if she went home if it took place after last, last episode. Right, but her. Not even just last episode, but if if that's what happened after she left. But her going to the whole like substance abuse, now I just don't care for the character. So that scene being in the episode, I didn't care. Like right. there was absolutely no reason for it to be there. I agree. I cared absolutely zero. So there's just certain things that that are being that are mistakes that are being made mm -hmm. that shouldn't be made, especially on a show like this. Um, I mean, you look at shows like. And I know they're different shows, but you look at shows like Arrow and Flash, and in all honesty, right now, I can't... One, Arrow's been out for three seasons. Sure. I, I can't say one episode that I didn't like. Agreed. Honestly, even Agreed. the slow episodes, there was not one I did not like. And you can't say that for a lot of shows. You absolutely can't. And also, as sure. well, for Flash right now, Flash is out. It's on its seventh episode? Ten. Ten, my bad. Tenth episode... And it's been great. It has. It, it's been great. It's been and, great. And for a new show compared to a new show, even though they're two different shows, there's a big difference when it comes down to how this story is being told and how this story is being told. Clearly, this one's doing a great job because it's 
retaining our attention. Well, where Gotham is just, it's it was doing good, and then all of a sudden, it's almost like it's falling on its face. Type well, of here's the thing about it to me is they they're working with again. I think this goes back to the the, the type of show that it is. It's in all in, for all intents and purposes. It's a cop show. Sure, absolutely. It's just a cop show. And that's show. what I expected. And then, the, and then it's just like, sprinkle some other stuff on right. top. Like, the electrocutioner. I think that was a bit out of hand with, like, how much he could do. Right. But, otherwise, okay, crazy guy does some, you know, electromagnetic bombs. Right. All right. That It could be, like, SVU tech. Right. <laughs> like, right. You know, or, or law and order tech. You know, that's what it could be. But then... To say, all right, well, then we're also going to throw in this whole mob aspect, and we're right. also going to throw in, like, building the Batman mythos. Right. Well, like, then you're putting a lot into it, and it's just all kind of disjointed. I feel like... I would have rather just had Gotham. Like, Bruce Wayne's parents die. You know, he's on the case. Uh, Alfred takes Bruce Gone. Look away yeah. somewhere. Yeah. I like... Oh, absolutely. That and is that just Gotham. And that would have been, I, in my opinion, that probably would have been the better option. Just because... I, like I said, when the series started, there was Bruce in it, and I feel like since that was now tied around that, mm -hmm. now when you make that when you make that your is, primary thing, right. you can't switch exactly. Like you can't just completely switch. You have to somehow phase it out, and you did not phase it out. With it was just like this one episode of like cool stuff right. and then nothing. Right. So so I would I would like them if they I mean not if when they bring him back I want them I want them to take the next. However many episodes they want to phase him out. Yeah, absolutely. And if there is going to be a second season, he can't be there. No, he he can't. Because then we're getting into Bruce Wayne's training listen, to be Batman, and that's not what the show right. is about. Listen, I I love Bruce Wayne, and I love Batman. I love that story. This is, Gotham was never that. That whole point of Gotham was never Batman. Right. So. That being said, they need to get rid of him. They need to phase him out properly. So it's done right. So that way, once it's done, okay, yeah. now continue the Gotham story. Yeah, because what he's twelve. So let's say he's going into high school. Right. So he goes off to prep school somewhere. Easy. It's easy. Easy. Plus, he's rich, so it really doesn't matter. I mean, that, right? They can, you can write that story however you want. Simple as that. He's sure. rich. You can you can write it however you want to properly yeah. phase him out. So, pretty much for me right now. Can't wait to see if Gotham turns it around. Right now, the last two episodes, I don't know, disappointment for me. Yeah, I, I definitely, I, I definitely would have, would have gone a different way with yeah, it. But absolutely. like, I, I, I liked it, but it's just. Kinda, I didn't hate it. It's, don't get me wrong. It's on par for me with the rest of the show. I like the fact right. that Fish Mooney is about to die. Yeah. Uh, uh, I guess I must have not heard that. I really thought because as soon as they said, "Hey, there's been a shootout at the no, no, at Fish Mooney's place," I'm like, "Everybody's dead." Nah, they're, <laughs> they're definitely gonna. It's gonna be interesting what they do with her, but uh, but yeah, I mean, overall, I love the show. I just I hope they, uh, you know, I hope this was a fluke for the last two episodes, and it just continues to be better from here on out because I really want it to be. I, right. I expected. Gotham to be what Gotham should be, which is a cop show. I didn't expect anything else. I'm happy with Penguin being there. Uh, Riddler being there, I don't care either way. He doesn't bother me, but I feel like he's a little... He can't be there because he shouldn't be that age. That's that's the only thing for me. Right. So, um, But otherwise, yeah, overall, I, I, I can't wait to see how the season goes on and... You know, we'll continue from there just to yeah. just to see how the episodes continue on. Yeah, I I mean, I want to see I want to see where it goes. I'm just not I'm not too excited about it. Yeah, it's just like I want to see it, but it would be it's one of those things that if they did with it's a strange kind of comparison, but if they did the same thing that they did with uh, selfie, right? Selfie got canceled on TV, right? But then they showed the rest of the shows on, on online. Right, absolutely. And if they did that with Gotham, like, I wouldn't be mad about it. I wouldn't be mad about it either. <laughs> so, so that's kind of where I'm at. Whereas, like, if they did that with Flash, I'd be pissed. Yeah, Because Flash is doing a great job. And I really like this episode. And let's go into Flash. Yeah, I really like this episode. I, I loved Captain Cold owning it and being like, my name is, you know, Leonard Snart. 
but you can call me Cole. And right. that was great. That was great. That was awesome because it, it plays more to the cheesy type thing. Yeah. You know, and it's funny because even when, like, you know, earlier in the season when, uh, when, um, I can't think of the kid's name. Oh, my God. Cisco. When Cisco was in, in, uh, in Starling City, he tried to name one of the bad guys, and he's like, "No, we don't do that here. We don't. We don't play that game here." And it's like, "Here, no, we absolutely do." He's like, "Something, something like a heat wave." Hey, stop that! <laughs> stop doing that. I, 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 I do, and I do like that. Wells kind of went into it. It's like, because he says something about Captain Cold, and then he's like, "Yes, Cisco, I heard myself." Like, oh no, no, he's like, "We're gonna catch Cold. We're gonna catch Cold." He's like, hey, he's like, "Yes, Cisco, I know I said it as soon as I said it." <laughs> it was great. So. I enjoyed that episode. Uh, honestly, like I said earlier, it's just there's nothing been bad about Flash. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, I feel like this episode was lesser of all the other episodes for me just because it was... I think it was more character-based. It's not just necessarily it was character-based. I just feel like... I don't know. It just felt like a lesser episode. Not anything against it. I mean, it's not that I didn't like the episode, that I didn't enjoy the episode. I absolutely did. Uh, I just feel like uh, it was definitely a lesser episode out of all the ones that we've seen up to so far. So I think I th honestly think, um, at least for you, I, I don't know if it's the same for me. I, I haven't decided yet, but I think the the hype has died down like internally because of the break. Because it's, of the break. possibility, it, it could. Because be before it was break. like every week, maybe Listen, you get a week in between. It could be that the break might have done it for both for Gotham and for Flash. For sure. me, because like I said, I enjoyed this episode for Flash, but it definitely wasn't how much I enjoyed the first nine episodes. Right. So and it's. But like I think, it, I, I really liked it. I think it was a good episode overall. But I really liked some of the little things that they did with the characters. Yeah. I liked. I liked Eddie saving Flash. Yeah, that, oh, that was, was awesome. great. That was awesome. I that was it. just like, he was just kind of like, oh, this is ridiculous. And he like gets it. And oh, like, yeah, boom. absolutely. And, and I that love, was great. And I love that the whole city, everybody knows that Flash is real. Yeah, now. yeah. Now so it's, it's like, he's legit. Streak. It's, he's it's, legit, it's, yeah. He's legit. He's the Flash. He's there. He's fast. And I love it. I loved it to see him. I didn't, I didn't like the fact that, that Snart is all about just killing the Flash. Yeah, I didn't like that fact. I like they got the this like ridiculous ultra million dollar painting, and it was like torch it like you dude, that's a lot of money like twenty five, 25 million. <laughs> and I was like, are you joking? Like, oh, so now this is just gonna be about like making uh, making Central City your playground, right? Okay, but like, what's the point if you don't like get paid? Right. That's if you're true. just gonna like live in a warehouse. And just go break shit every once in a that's while. That's true, like, yeah. I that's mean, not I, really like a good life, I don't think. No, no, I get where you're coming from. Uh, but also as well, I I see why they did it. Because Cold needed... He needed the revenge, you know. He needed the revenge aspect. Because he already got stopped once. And he didn't want to keep getting stopped if that was going to be sure. So I'm glad they didn't make him as dumb of a character. Yes, was it dumb to just base it off that and burn the $25 million painting? That right. was stupid, but also as well, it, it makes sense. Hey, let's get rid of the guy that's gonna make our life a living hell if we just keep doing what we're doing. Sure. So, it, I kind of see it both ways. But I still, I mean, I enjoyed it a lot. I, I like I the fact it. that it was his sister that broke him out. That was cool to me. Uh, Did you catch that at the end? The bus, the bus, the door. See, I, like, didn't. I didn't. I did not. Did I record that? I did not. I did not. Um, so they're in the they're in the you know prison car, uh -huh. well, not the prison the yeah, the, the the van taking right. him to prison, and you know it gets stopped, right? And like the door busts open, and he looks over and you see a chick holding a gun similar ish to the cold gun, and he says, "Hey sis." Oh, I honestly I must have like zoned that out for that quick. Yeah, second. no, and I like I went to Google. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, because I thought for a second it was. Uh, it was going to be Killer Frost, because I thought they were going to already play that card. Sure. Because uh, uh, What's-Her-Face is going to become Killer Frost, the the chick friend, Flash's chick friend, that works at Star Labs. Oh, the the girl. The yeah. girl that kid kidnapped. Yeah. yeah, the girl that got kidnapped. Well, they couldn't have done that. Absolutely, they could have. Come on. Well, no, they couldn't have done that this episode. She was tied down. But that was after. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I guess, yeah. After he caught him, like... 
but yeah, but why she would? But then again, there was no real aspect on why she would have done that. If what that means to keep her cover, like if she is, his, I you know, guess, right? yeah, because they yeah. could play it that way. But uh, then I found that they did, um, uh, they did, they cast somebody else. I think sure. some, some girl from Game of Thrones. Uh, but I really like the idea that like now they're going to bring in another another character into the Rogues Gallery, as they right. call it, for Flash. Um, and I really liked the Firestorm reveal. Yeah, what was it? When it, si- it was still kind of like I'm not sure exactly where they're going with this right. but like it explained Firestorm yeah without telling you how he gets yeah, those powers yeah, yeah. No, so it was like this is what Firestorm which is an acronym means you know it's this whole thing about like rearranging molecules which is what Firestorm does right but you still don't know how Firestorm gets these powers right because he was he was in he was in the reactor so yeah. like how did that have anything to do with this thing that wasn't no, there, or maybe it was. But I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited because I mean, from what we see, he what was it? The last time we see Firestorm, he flies away and quite well too. Yeah, yeah, and he's they he says don't don't follow me or stop. Don't looking. look for me. Yeah, don't look for me or something like that. And from what I understand, he is supposed to appear in Arrow. He's supposed to appear in Starling. So, okay. So that at least that was the rumor, sure. uh, because there was a rumor going around that Robbie Amell was seen on the set of Arrow. Uh, I mean, it's his brother, so yeah, a cousin. But uh, or whatever. But yeah, I mean, we'll we'll see, we'll see. I mean, who knows? But there was some rumors going around that he might have been there to film. Film. I, I mean, they might do another episode. crossover. I yeah. I think it'd be cool if they did a crossover finale. Um, they said there's going to be one a year, so I don't know if there's going to be another crossover, except Robbie's crossover, but I don't know if there's actually going to be a full on uh, Flash crossover. Yeah, cause they, they did bring out, they said, somebody mentioned, one of the actors, I guess was interviewed or director or something like that, and they said, yeah, there's going to be one crossover per year. Um, so, so A, that means that they're super confident about Flash and there will be more seasons. Which is yeah, sad. absolutely. They both got renewed. They, they both... Well, uh, I mean, of course, Arrow's yeah, renewed. Yeah, yeah. Arrow got renewed for season four and then uh, Flash got renewed for season two. It's, and there's no reason why not. I mean, with on. this much... First of all, like I said, Arrow's has a lot of steam. Arrow never lost steam. What Arrow did is after season one gained a lot of steam and is con- consistently stayed at that. Yeah. Uh, where I mean, and where Flash, Flash came in and everybody loved it. Just yeah. instantaneously. I don't know. I, I don't know anyone that didn't like Flash. I mean, it, it's just it's a very energetic show. It's very bright. It's it's a lot of different stuff, right. but it's it it's just a really good like it's a feel good show. Even yeah. though there's like there is a lot of deep stuff to it. You know the whole like where he stops cold right at the end there he stops cold and he turns it and he changes his voice like that right. he's like thanks detective peace yeah. like well, that yeah, was just he, like a cool moment for me well that was the thing you know you got the detective saving him with the shield then he thanks the detective uh then you see uh the detective when uh he thanks him as barry allen he says good job uh eddie and he's like it wasn't me it was the flash Right, uh, and that was cool. That was cool, and then also, yeah, absolutely. It's it's com- it's definitely a feel good series because mm-hmm. a lot of people like to joke, oh, it's all you know, DC is always about dark stuff, but this series is complete opposite. Yeah, this because, is very, like, you this got, is very you positive. Got and when they back do in with his, that was awesome. Yeah, that was just like a that was just like a a, a bro movie. Yeah, yeah it it was, was, it was, that's it was, that felt like it was it like was awesome. You you get the pizza. He's uh-huh. like, you know, this does nothing to me. Just you, know, you know, this beer does nothing to me. It's like. Just <laughs> it was great. I mean, it's it's. I absolutely enjoy Flash. I just maybe it is because of the break. Maybe that's what kind of took out of it for it being sure. a, a lower episode. But like I said, it was still a great episode, and I right. just can't wait to see more of it. There's rumors going around that uh, in this next half that there is going to be time travel involved and and uh, and explained a little bit. So we might understand how it all worked out with the whole reverse Flash thing and him getting beat up because. We saw you in the beginning well, of this you episode. Know, you he's know, ready you know to what get probably, up. You know what they'll probably do. That was great too. He was about he was to get like, up. He, he might like, die. I might have to do this. Might, what is he doing? Uh, so that was that was. It was yeah. There was just like, like I said, it wasn't because it was a good episode of Raw, but I really liked the little pieces of the little, little bit. It's the, the little stuff. It's the, it's it's the things stuff. that come together that make a really good. But episode. That's what I'm talking about, and that's why I hope you know Gotham takes that into effect because it's it's all the little things that that make it and. 
and I, I hope you know the Gotham goes. But yeah, overall for me, I'm extremely happy about the episode, and I can't wait for the next one to be honest. So I loved it. I loved it, and I loved Arrow almost as much. I like so I liked Arrow. Let me let me say my piece here. Sure. Real I liked Arrow a lot. I liked. There was that moment right at the beginning where the guy looks at uh, Roy and he's like, "Who the hell are you?" And it was that moment where he was searching for his identity. Like that's kind of what I, you know, what, I, what that reminded me of. And it's the stupidest thing. It reminded me of Batman and Robin. Like the few things that I've seen is like, why don't I get my own symbol? Right. See, so it me, was like to, to me, me that moment is what's gonna make him call himself Arsenal. Well, see, to me it reminded me of Justice League, or uh, not Justice League. What was it? Uh, what was the animated show I keep forgetting the name of? Young Young Justice. Oh, okay. Young Justice, uh, where Arsenal finds out he's a clone, and that that's what that reminded me of. Yeah, it was almost like, who am I? Like who? What? Yeah, who, who really am I? So that's what I was going. Yeah, to. and that was that like, whole thing where he talks about like you know if we do this without him, without Oliver, like you know is this a thing without Oliver? Right. And then when they finally decided that it is. I think he's he's going to look for that identity because I don't think Oliver's going to come back for a while. I'd say at least two more episodes, at least an episode or two, uh, another episode or two. Because and I like I liked the fact that they didn't use a Lazarus Pit. I know they said it like a couple weeks ago. They said there wasn't going to be used, and I was like, all right, but then like you don't really have that many options. That's that's and, where I'm going to. And I keep thinking my piece. and I keep thinking that Tatsuo is somebody, and I feel like in my head I know who it is, who she is rather. Um, but I just don't know. True. I, I don't know specifically. So I think they're going to reveal it at some point, and I'll be like, yeah. Um, but I really like that. I liked... I think I think uh, Palmer's crazy. I think Palmer's insane. Palmer. Uh, Adam. I think Palmer's insane. I think they're playing... Cause, so there was there was a moment where, where Palmer uh, did go nuts. Oh, okay. Um, so his, uh, his wife... His wife went crazy. Well, the thing is, is they are talking about... Uh, Identity about Crisis was all about his wife going crazy and, like, creating a state of emergency in the superhero community for him to, like, spend time with her. I understand that, but there is talk that Adam is going to get his own series as well. So if that's the case, I, I don't know how they would play that off in our own series. It just There was just a couple moments where he's like... Oh yeah, totally. Like you, you make it sound like going off in a high-powered exosuit is to save the world. Isn't you know isn't a sane decision? Like no, nothing about what you said is sane. Like think about that. Right, but <laughs> he he looks at the Adam suit as like it's this product that he's gonna finish and it, it is gonna be invincible. Like regular weaponry won't do anything to him. I think that's how he sees that suit. Right. So for him to say that. Technically, he's not incorrect because I guess, normal man, people I don't wouldn't know. be able to do anything against his suit. I don't so. know, man. And then there was that moment where he's like, uh, you know, when she, when she says like she wouldn't, or was Anna wouldn't have wanted this, uh, which is a whole different thing because I don't think he, his wife's name was Anna. Well, I mean, <laughs> listen, they're not gonna stay clearly a hundred percent on everything. I don't so. think they're even staying a little bit to it. So, um, but it was like, oh, Anna wouldn't want you to do this. Like, listen, I know you're upset, and we can talk about that. But well, you don't ever get to say that again. Well, and I see where he's And I was like, from. fair enough. Well, I and like, right there at that moment, I was like, he might hit her. <laughs> uh, I didn't think he was going to hit her, not at all. I think what it was is he didn't like the fact that even as much as he likes Felicity, uh, she, 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 does, she does not know her yeah, she where presented. he did. So yeah. it's simple. It's like you can't say something where you have no idea who she was. Precisely. You never met her. You only know about the one thing that I've said about her, so that's... But you know she died, that's right. about what you know. Um, so that's kind of where I got to it. I'm going to go off on this episode because I actually, I love the episode. I'm going to say right off the bat, I absolutely love this episode. Sure. Uh, there was just not really anything that I didn't like about it. Even though Oliver wasn't in there, I liked it. I, I, it was a fun episode, and I'm going to say this, Arsenal... I enjoyed Arsenal. I loved seeing... I'm not going to lie. That was bad. I, that was right. terrible. Terrible. Uh, I, I actually... I enjoyed everything about Arsenal in this one. Just him kicking ass. Him doing his uh, uh, parkour style. Jumping around and kicking... That butt. was cool. Some of it I was mean, like super unbelievable. But that was cool. I mean, I just... <laughs> I absolutely loved it. And just seeing him on his own kicking butt. I, I think we might need a little more of that because him just being next to Arrow and, and them really showing more uh, 
you know, Green Arrow instead of Arsenal kicking ass, I think we need to see Arsenal kick ass more without Arrow. So like, oh, Arrow's busy trying to be Oliver Queen to get his company back, which should be a thing, because we really need to see, we need to just, he does not have money. We need to justify why he has, he's still able to replace equipment that he's not supposed to be able to afford. So, I mean, I guess, yeah, he's broke. That's a good point. I mean, they've pointed this out. He is broke. He cannot go to the, to the, to the restaurants he's gone to. He, he is broke. So he needs to get back his company. I like that Adam is there. I absolutely love, uh, well, I don't, Brandon. I mean, we're not going to see Queen Consolidator again, because I don't think Queen Consolidated isn't even a thing in the comics, as far as I'm aware, so... But, I mean, he owns a company. He does, comics. he does, but he does go... He does become uh, uh, ousted and becomes poor. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, well, that, that, that's that definitely part of the know. story. So, uh, I mean, he'll he'll get it back at some point. I just don't think... Uh, he like He's not going to get Queen Consolidated back. Okay. That's, well, I mean, that's going to stay... Listen, Palmer that's Industries. fine, but I just need him... I, I just need, I guess I see why they did that in the comics, because they already had Batman who's a billionaire, so why have another billionaire? I get it, uh, but at the same time, it's almost like, that's fine, but the reason I can believe some of the things Batman's able to pull off is because he is a billionaire, and he can afford right, to Right, he can just buy, he can, he can buy uh, things and people. <laughs> exactly, and, uh, you know, the whole thing about Oliver is, yes, he's a very likable guy, and, and, and people uh, attach to him. Uh, you know, like Felicity and, and Diggle. But, that being said, he, he can't afford what's in that basement. He cannot. He absolutely cannot. So that, That's true. I there mean, needs I think, to be some kind of uh, explanation. I feel why. like they did mention something. I mean, I'm sure he's got some reserves somewhere. Um, but, yeah. I mean, he, he doesn't have a source of income. He doesn't have a source so even of if he's got a, even if he's got a reserve, at some point he will run out. Right. I mean, from what they explain, I mean, they pointed out there was a few episodes where he can't afford, uh, 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 like, the restaurant. Like, they said in the restaurant once, like, how can you afford He's like, I can't, but, <laughs> like, he figured out a way or, or whatever. Something, I forgot what was said, but he literally, he's, his words were like, I can't, but, you know, so it, it, it's got to be, that's got to be figured out. I do want to see him kind of play more I, I, don't get me wrong I love him as Arrow and he needs to be Arrow but at the same time I do want to see a little more Oliver I think this season we got a lot of uh, Arrow yeah and, I think and he, he kind of went back to that season one mentality of just like going hard all the time right. I mean he lost his mother he lost his yeah, sister yeah, absolutely. so there was a lot of reasons to it but now he's going to come back his sister's going to be gone again so I don't I mean I, I just don't think we're going to see that this season sure no absolutely and that's perfectly fine I just kind of want to see the comeback and the Lazarus pit here's what I'm worried about I'm fine that they didn't use the Lazarus pit because it makes sense that means you had to go to Raja Ghul's uh, 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 you know uh, what is it his, his I'll, 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 I'll stop you right there and tell you there are several dozen Lazarus pits. okay that's fine that's <laughs> Where they were at, and to sure. get him quickly enough to sure. a pit would be the one that he's near at, and that probably wouldn't have worked out too well. And Likely. I'm, I'm glad I called it, and it was his buddy that got yeah. him. Yeah, as soon I'm as he opened the door, I was like, he was right. <laughs> uh, so I'm glad I was right on that, but um, I hope it's not a drug that they used like what gave Mercuru, Mercuru like Deathstroke, because I don't want to see... Oliver slash Arrow going into a fridge and trying to calm himself down. I don't want to see that. That's the drama I don't want. I've seen it. We've seen it with uh, Deathstroke. We've seen it with Arsenal. And I don't need to see it with Arrow. We've already kind of seen a little with Arrow where he gets poisoned and stuff like that. So we don't need to see another drug effect in his mood. I really don't need it. There's a lot of drama going around already that... That doesn't need to be part of a story. It really just doesn't, in my opinion. So I'm hoping whatever they did use, there's just no side effects. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Because, I mean, I, I understand even the Lazarus Pit does have Tatsu. some some menace, menacing type of uh, uh, side effects to it when he comes back. So I, I'm hoping whatever they did use, it, whatever the side effects are, is very, very minimal. 
uh, because I don't want to see that. That's that's another part of the story that just doesn't need to be there. You know, it, there's plenty of drama in this series that that doesn't need to be additional to it. So sure. That's kind of where I'm getting at for that part. So that's the only thing I didn't like. I I, I didn't mind that they didn't use the Lazarus Pit. Katana. That's perfectly it's Katana. Fine. I knew it. I knew it was Katana. <laughs> I knew it was Katana. I'm, I'm perfectly fine that it's not the Lazarus Pit. Uh, but I once again, my only th worry is that it's a drug that might cause him same issues that that stroke and Arsenal had, and I don't want to see that. That it's not necessary; it doesn't need to be there. Uh, we know that Stephen Amell can play uh, this role very well, where it comes down to playing any kind of emotion, if it's sad, worry. Uh, serious, whatever it needs to be, funny, he can definitely do it. So I don't need to see him uh, trying to play a dramatic slash uh, losing my mind role because of a drug. It, it's just something that's not necessary for this episode, in my opinion, or at least for the rest of the season. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the only thing that personally was only thing that was bugging me about this episode. It's just he was laying there. He I don't it's think it's clearly a drug because. Let's let's be serious. Not only did he get stabbed by a blade that was about that long through him, also he fell down a mountain. So his bones were crushed. I don't care how no, you put it. No, he didn't fall that far. Uh, I mean, listen. You, no, he didn't. Fall everybody that, far. that looked down the mountain, you couldn't see anything. Well, because there's cloud cover. So I'm assuming it's a fairly high mountain. You're high in the mountains. There's always. I'm cloud just cover. saying. <laughs> Whatever, whatever the fall was, it, it injured his bones. So whatever this drug is, it's definitely a miracle drug. So I mean, simple right. as that. So, and he's been dead. If we if we take into account how long he's been dead, he's probably been dead uh, at least. Well, also you're presuming that he died from that wound. He was stabbed. Uh, listen, in, I, no, I don't. He, he listen. He was stabbed in lower rib cage. It would have cut his, it would have cut his um, lung. But that's really it. But then he fell. I don't care. If right. Then he fell. Been... But here's the thing. Then he fell. It's sub freezing temperatures, so the bleeding slows down. Sure. Um, so he wouldn't have bled out from that wound. Like he would not have died from that wound for quite a while. I would say at least a couple hours. Okay, but even from the fall, there would have been some kind of damage. Absolutely, bleeding, absolutely. Internal bleeding or external bleeding, because there's no way it wasn't. Even if it wasn't that big of a fall, they're still bleeding. Yeah, absolutely. So, and, and, but I think, I think it's very much. I, I don't think it was that that high of a fall. Sure. I think it would have been something where, like, extreme medical care in several months in in a, you know in, in a hospital right. would have would have healed someone. Sure. However, being that it's not any of that, and it's not a Lazarus pit, I contend that it is this. Katana carries a Soul Taker sword, and pre-New 52 it was something else, but now, in the New 52, the Soul Taker is established as being the sword totem of the Outsiders, meaning, like the other totems, it supports, supposedly bestows immortality and enlightenment upon its wielder. So, A, either she's giving him the sword, thus immortality and self-healing, okay, or because she's enlightened due to the sword or some sort of totem, right? She knows how to heal. Him. She okay. has that knowledge. Okay. That's why he said he called her. Sure. Now, if you remember, he when he walked in, he said, "I'm sorry. I, you know, I didn't know who else to call, and he needs your help." Right. So they had a falling out. So in it was something due to the kid because you. <laughs> spoiler alert. But Stephen Amell posted a picture standing with the kid that plays their child, and uh, clearly something happens where you first thought it was something that happened with the wife when Oliver first sees his old friend, but something happened actually with the kid, and that's why there's a falling out between the man and the wife and Oliver. So Interesting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I mean, I can see that. Um, but yeah, so there, there's definitely some sort of you know falling out, like you said. Right. But he says, "Spoiler alert!" We, we literally we talk about everything. I mean, about listen, if you're, if you're watching this, there's you there's know, always spoilers. Yeah, there's always spoilers. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think it's gonna be something more along the magic route of things. Okay. I don't think because uh, I mean, even Mirakuru is is based listen, on they 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 
there is magic in this world. You have the Flash that runs faster than... Well, that's beyond magic. That's, I mean, but that's, right, but I'm saying, so magic science. works. Magic works, regardless how you put it. Well, if you have that kind of stuff, then you have magic, too. You can definitely there, play Yeah, that I mean, it, you can definitely play magic in the, in the, the CW universe. Absolutely. And so now with these new an announcements, do you think they're going to include Supergirl in that universe? I would love Cause, it because both of them like welcomed her. Listen, I here's the thing. And congratulated her, which is you know you know professional courtesy or whatever. But still, I feel like they might include her in this universe. What do you mean, both of them congratulated on her? Twitter? Oh, okay. Yeah, Stephen Amell and um, can play Slash. Oh well, that's awesome. Well, no, absolutely. And I'm like, and listen, kind of like, uh, well, here's like, the thing. courtesy, but like, at the same time, like. Well, here's the thing, uh, 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 Stephen Amell and, uh, I, I'm not sure, I keep forgetting the uh, guy's name that plays, uh, no, I uh, Augustine, Augustine, something like that, but, uh, listen, Stephen Amell is all about uh, expanding this universe that he's in, he loves it, he, he couldn't wait for the Flash to be made, uh, he couldn't wait for the Flash to be part of the universe, and he's all about expanding, uh, I would love to see Supergirl in her own series, absolutely. Well, they're making the pilot. Uh, well, I understand that, but I'm saying I, I would part of this universe. I would love That'd be, to see. Yeah, it. I think it'd be I, great I, I, if because then you bring in. So, like you know, now we're you know with with Arrow, we, we're two dimensions. Sure. We're in this one city, and then it's like Flash. Well, right. now we have a whole world. And then you say Supergirl. Well, now we have a whole universe. Yeah, absolutely. But here's the thing. To me, it's bring on. Listen, if it's DC related, bring it on CW. Don't don't do this like oh we're gonna bring this to Fox, we're gonna bring this to uh, uh, FX or Sci-Fi. We're gonna bring no, just bring it to CW if it's DC related, and just put it all together. There's no reason not to, to be honest. Like it, it's working out so well. Obviously, do it little by little so that way you can do it correctly instead of just pushing it. Certainly. But just do it. Do it in the CW world because, listen, what they've done with Arrow and what they've done with Flash has been amazing, mm -hmm. and I can't see them doing any any worse because they haven't done worse with that, so I can't see them do worse. They can only go better if they pull it in Supergirl, Justice, uh, or Young Justice, or even Teen Titans, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Titans would be great. Uh, because... To be honest, I can't wait to see Nightwing in a series. He, I we've seen Batman. We've seen Batman in so many movies. Yeah, ba uh, Batman. Nightwing I don't want to say Batman's be awesome. overdone. I don't want to say it's not Batman's overdone, overdone by any means. But it, it, we Nightwing would be just awesome. I think we don't need because Robin. he's unique. We, in he's opinion, separate. He's like he's Nightwing, and you're gonna get the Batman themes of absolutely. it. Absolutely. And see what, what bugs me, and this is kind and of and this way with Nightwing. Mm -hmm. The way I see it, with Nightwing, he's not a billionaire. Bruce Wayne's a billionaire. Nightwing is not. Nightwing's so now, a cop. now you can keep. Nightwing's a cop. He's a beat cop. Now you can keep Stephen Amell as the billionaire in this in this world, and you got you got Nightwing. That's you know kind of Batman style, but he's Nightwing. He's not Batman. Yeah. He's not Bruce. Wayne. But I mean, you know, Arrow is our Arrow is already filling that the the, the Batman role. He the absolutely broody, is. The no, broody, absolutely, you know. absolutely. I mean, clearly that's what they've gone here. A little bit. I don't want to say oh, they definitely done that, but definitely is a strong word. But they've clearly went where Arrow in this universe is more of a a Batman, a more of Bruce Wayne to be said. Even though he's clearly not, um, but I mean, there's some hints to it because Rachel Ghoul, Let's be serious. That's a Batman. He Batman really has is. dealt with him it on really a consistent like, basis. I don't... I don't like, know how there's, there's away even with that. there's even a a a, a, a little like uh, Mimi I guess you would meme. call it or meme I'm sorry meme I keep saying Mimi <laughs> meme uh, where it says oh you you went and uh, tried to defeat Rache and then you see Bruce Wayne at the bottom he's like that's cute <laughs> because Batman's done it he's right. done it due to him being Batman right. I mean we've spoken about Batman before how he's Everybody by 50 steps even when it comes down to Superman so I can understand like and that goes to the the Arrow series makes sense why Arrow couldn't defeat Raish because there's only so many people that can and right Batman's really yeah I mean that's that's always people, been kind of so. the big thing is you know Raish has only fought 
a select group of people, and he's only been beaten by a couple. Right. You know, Raish is, he is, like, if you're wondering if you can fight, especially with swords, that's the guy you want to challenge. Right, exactly. Because you either can or you can't. Yeah, right. that's, those are your only two options in that situation. Right, absolutely. But I hear, final thoughts on the episode, I really liked. Absolutely. I really liked yeah. Arrow. Uh... The only I, thing for me is is what did they use for a drug, and I hope there's no side effects to I, where it's like playing with his emotions. I, I like Black Canary showing up. I really liked it. I think it made sense. I think she wasn't... Here's over, she thing. wasn't overly skilled. So okay, that's, she did, that's the thing. She wasn't overly that's skilled. She wasn't beyond what she should be at this that's point in her thing. training. She showed up, used technology, and used a, a bow staff. Yes. Hey, dude, I could I could do that. Maybe not in the, you know in the the wig and heels, but <laughs> but I I could you know throw a sonic grenade and, and beat somebody's Absolutely. ass with a stick. Absolutely. Like you don't need a lot I of training for that. that. That I did enjoy. I just my thing is is what I've been saying this whole time is I hope they don't be like oh yeah she's a badass now. That's not possible. Her sister was training for five years with nonetheless with the league of with the league of assassins. So there's no possible way that in six months. Her, now her sister is as good. It's not possible. It's just, it's it's not a possibility. Right, she's going to be a street fighter. I mean, that's going to be kind of the thing. Did this just go off? No, no, It's I think it's trying to register us. Yeah. Cancel. Stupid. Yeah, so, but, Stupid uh... Sister. <laughs> I don't even know, we didn't even say anything that I might know, have done it. I know, it. I know, but, uh, but, yeah, so I agree with you. This episode... This episode I loved Flash. Out of all the episodes we talked about, Flash and Arrow, uh, just amazing. Like I said, the it's, only thing it's for hard me to say negative things the, about those the, shows. The only thing for me is whatever they use, I don't want emotional side effects. We have plenty of emotion in this series. I he don't. he looked fine. He that's, looked fine. That's what I'm he excited looked, about is he, he looked fine. Yeah. He just looked like he was gonna need some recuperating. Yeah, absolutely. So presumably, so let's say he might be gone for a few episodes. Now thinking about it that way is he definitely looked like he couldn't get out. I think we're going to see Adam here coming up soon. I think he's going to figure out his suit. Uh, not to the point where it's perfect 100%. I think he'll try it out. But he's going to figure it out to the point where run. he's going to give it a test run. I think so he'll give it a test I, run. I can't wait. I, can't. I, think, I think the season ends with Adam kind of joining forces with them. Oh, that'd be great. I I, I, ben, Brenton Rout, I never had a problem with him. I, I think his portrayal of Superman I, was perfectly fine. I hated him as Superman. Because uh, he wasn't playing Superman. He, he wasn't playing like, Superman. He, never mind. I think did. he did what he could with the script, but that's a whole other story. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I like him as an actor. I've enjoyed everything that he's done. Um, even, once again, doing Superman, even, that's a whole different thing of its of its own. But... Uh, he's. I think he's a great actor overall, and I, I can't wait to see him. Honestly, I can't wait to see him have his own series. I think he's doing a great job as. Uh, I, I keep. I'm I just I'm don't see him as right a leading now. man. Ray Palmer. Ray Palmer. Thank you. Uh, I I do. I, I see. I, I can definitely see him everything doing. that I've seen him in previously, um, from Superman, which was granted a leading role in a movie, but I really don't think he's a. He the, way great job Ray, the way he's doing Ray, the way he's the way he's doing Ray, I think he can do it as a leading man. The way he's playing that character with his comedy, with his seriousness, he can pull that off as a leading man. I definitely see it. But yeah, know. guys, this has <laughs> gone on for a long time. Uh, I think overall, Flash, Arrow, great. Uh, Gotham, I can't. I. 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 I don't hate it. I just need to see them continue in a better direction. Uh, once again, phase out Bruce Wayne so that way this series can be its own series. And uh, Constantine, um, I'm definitely worried for it because there's rumors. There, there's been rumors going around that uh, right. it's not doing so hot. Right. Uh, it's only going to supposed to have 13 episodes this season instead of its full 21 or 22. So right. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, listen, I, I enjoy the series for visuals and what it is. Uh, once again, it's really just kind of the script and the... And the, and the uh, acting, the script of the acting, the two yeah. you know, the two main, the things two things, that, the two things that make a TV yeah, show. So yeah, guys, that was our review. Um, I think that's about it. I don't. No, we need we need to come up with a name for this thing. T three talks, T three G talks. That's it. That's what it is. And then what? Whatever we're reviewing. I guess. Yeah. Well, for T three G talks, this has been Cerebro and and Full Toronto guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah. See you next time. Good stuff. 
You gonna leave the balls in there, aren't you? Huh? You gonna leave the balls in there, aren't you? The balls? The ball. How would I take it out? Well, I mean, I took it off. Like, you can skip that part. I took it off as you were introducing it. Oh, no. Oh, you should go keep it. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Just oh, great.